Paul. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Um, so I want to show you how my electricity works. Um, for people that really don't know much about electricity, so you can use my uh, uh, doors that are opening automatically, and it will help you against like uh, yeah door campers. Um, anyway, so first thing of course you need something that gives electricity now you can build a tower and put like a windmill on top or you can have like a large solar panel now if you have a large solar panel you need like this tool that i have in my hand it's like three high quality very easy to make i think it's a basic bl blueprint and then you need to uh, put it somewhere where it will receive you can put it like in a lamp of course uh, or you could put it like in one of these root combiners. Now, um, let me see where it's going. I don't want it to go to mess up too much. So I'm going to make it, put it in the corners here. So it's going to be a nice little... Okay. So now this thing is connected to the solar panel. Uh, at the moment, it's, uh, there's no light yet, so it's not giving any power. Um, now I could connect that straight up to something uh, like a lamp, but like right now, if right now it would not get any power from it, so the lamp wouldn't work. Here I can show you. Uh, so the, the the lamp is not working because there's no power. So the best way to um, use this, if I want that lamp to have power, is to put it in. Um, a battery so like here's power in uh, so I connect to that then I here I have a power out now I'm putting it on the ground I don't want it like right in my face all the time so now it's on the wall and then I hook it up to the light now you see I have light now of course I'm kind of like uh, cheating a little bit because you see there was a little bit of power in this small small rechargeable uh, battery and let's see there is still no energy going into that battery so in a while in 10 minutes that battery will be drained but maybe by then there will be some power going into it because the light is coming up it's getting lighter so this is really basic the basics of electricity where you just get uh, some power now uh, how would you like get all those doors like if you notice here, you can see that if I run outside, if I get, you see if I get enough distance of the HBF, the door closes on me. I didn't need to close it. And if I get close by, it opens up. Here's, this is the HBF. Now that will see if, if I am close, if somebody else is close. And then this one, it will see me and it will open this door. And this one will always also see me and will close this door, etc. etc. Now you're still closing because I just left and it takes a bit of time, but then they will all open except for the last one. So we're going to try to hook up the last one. Now let's see if I have put already something here. No, I haven't. So let's create one. So we need some metal. And then uh, we need to create a door controller. Let's craft a door controller. And you need to put the door controller uh, right here on the side of the, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, this is the one for this door. Yeah. So we need one for this door. Let's see if I can get up here. Yeah, there it is. So I want it somewhere on the edge of this thing yep this right that's nice now I can I cannot do pair to door right now it's not giving it me because the door needs to be open so now it's open now I can do pair to door you see it's green and the door closes on me now I can lock it again now it's locked again and it's paired to the door you can see there it is a green is green now um, for me to uh, open this door I could hook it up to electricity but it's not going to do much because it has to be hooked to hooked up to 
an HBS sensor that's going to be able to sensor me and then open the door uh, when it sees me. So now this one is already used. So probably need to uh, either find one or build one. Yeah, I think I need to build one. Okay, already have some metal. So let's see, HBF sensor, crafting. Now, let me think. Of course, they didn't see me for then. If they don't see me, they start to close these doors. So it's important to uh, make sure that they see me. Um, so what would be now? This one would open last. But I could do it ne here next to this one because why not? Or I could place it somewhere here because why not? Yeah, it makes sense because if I in that corner, it might not see me if I put it here. There's a lots of stuff here. Too much. Way too. Oh, now I can get it. Oh, this is fine. I'll do it here. So this is going to be my sensor. Now it needs power. It says a power out and a power in. Now um, let's go with the power, the power in. So it needs to receive some energy. So now we knew that we gave some power to this uh, light. So now it's giving it to the sensor. Now I'm going to say exclude others because I don't want strangers to open these doors. Now then I'll put it on the ceiling just to get it out of the way of anything else. So let's make it simple. And then let's find the sensor. So you can see it's hooked up to the HBF sensor. So let's test it. Let's close this door. And then open it. Now this one's going to open. Yes. That one's going to open. Now yes the last one's also opening so now you see how you can open and close doors with just using um, these things now the only thing i haven't showed you guys is um, uh, the electrical branch now instead of using a lamp you can also it's better the, the lamp can only hook up one other item uh, because like if you look at here it has a pass through power in and pass through now that's nice if you have to have 10 lamps but uh, basically you can only add one extra item to a lamp well if you use an electrical branch it has a branch out which you can set like here you can set it to 2 or 10 or 20 or whatever and then uh, you have a power out with the power out you can hook up to another uh, uh, branch and that can also do a branch out again so Every time you use one branch, uh, electrical branch, you have one like extra uh, uh, branch out that you can use, uh, and then you can hook up either up to another th another electrical branch or another final item. If you don't need anything else. Now these are splitters. Splitters they can do up to three things. So this one gets uh, seven seven power, and it does two 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 for for three HBF sensors. So I have two of them. This is another one. And the, so this is my six doors and now my seventh door is this one. Now uh, probably not the best way that I did it with using this lamp but for now I don't need anything else. I don't have anything else to do. So it's just fine for now. Uh, I have an extra light and I have one extra door. And I showed you guys how to do it. Uh, but if you want to do like lots and lots of doors, I would say use electrical branches and then you can do like seven power into like one electrical branch or one uh, splitter and then hook them up to like six HBFs. Now this is not getting enough power anymore so it's closed. So make sure that uh, it, it might take a while before the battery is fully charged. And yeah, that's why I use the large batteries. And uh, I have large batteries here, large rechargeable battery that's in my wall. And how I do that, I put it in the wall and then I hook it up to like a root combiner. Like here, I have a large, um, 
Oh yeah, I hook them up to a uh, large um, recharge. Uh, I, I, so the power goes, the power from the battery goes into the electrical branch, and then the power from the uh, from the um, root combiner goes out into a battery. So you you, you can um, put, um, I mean these uh, uh, medium and big batteries take up a lot of space, and uh, and uh, when you get raided. If these b things still are on your wall, you can still use them. Um, so yeah, that's a good way. Now this could be annoying because I'm getting a little bit of power, but not enough to sustain it. <laughs> so uh, I think I'm just going to uh, turn that off for now. Anyway guys, I hope you uh, find this interesting. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, you learned how to do uh, your electricity. And I would say maybe just pause the video and just do step by step. Just do one step at a time. Don't overthink it too much. First get yourself something that gives you power. Then secondly put it, hook it up to a battery. Then hook it up to like let's say uh, just try it out on a lamp or something. Or uh, and just, just keep experimenting until you have the whole system working. Um, and if you just do it step by step, one by one, before you know it, you'll have a base like this, where you can just walk in, you have an outer turret, you'll have uh, multiple doors opening on you, you have lights, uh, probably some, maybe even some more stuff, I don't know. And, uh, and the great thing about this, like if I get raided right now, let's say I'm AFK, I'm standing here, they probably will shoot me if, shoot me if they see me. Or, yeah, don't do AFK because if they don't shoot you, it doesn't work. But, uh, yeah, if you die, all the doors will close. So, here, let me kill myself. Yeah, so you, all the doors are closing and your base is completely safe without you ever touching a door. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit of electricity and you're gonna give it a try and uh, yeah just use this uh, video as a guide a step-by-step -step guide to get it all uh, working uh, one by one and uh, yeah I watch my other videos on how to build these bunker bases and uh, yeah have, uh, have a beautiful day and lots of love and bye-bye uh,